Corals are ancient organisms with single colonies capable of living for tens of thousands of years. Most of that time is spent doing very little, at least as far as we can see. Just once or twice per year, and only for a few moments, everything comes to life for corals. We see a bulging mass move towards their mouths. It seems that they are just about ready to explode. Then, we see what appears to be a small pink ball push out one of the polyps and start to float up towards the water's surface. At first it seems that hardly anything significant is happening. But seconds later, every polyp in every coral colony of that species begins to release these pink balls containing bundles of eggs and sperm. Suddenly, the sleepy nighttime reef comes alive. A reverse snowstorm of coral gametes is on the way, and predators are bound to take advantage of this rare event, swooping in to consume what they can. The reef is alive with activity. It is the start of a new cycle of life for the hard corals and the ecosystems they support. For hundreds of millions of years, corals have been taking part in this annual synchronous spawning event. This is what has allowed them to colonize tropical coasts around the globe, what has allowed them to diversify into so many unique species, and what has allowed them to replenish reefs after disturbance events. These small larvae are the seeds of future reefs because each is genetically unique and will adapt to various conditions. For decades, the coral restoration community has been trying to bring back reefs by propagating the corals that are already there. But these efforts have largely overlooked one major concept. The corals of today are not fit to survive in the world of tomorrow. That is why we are helping to usher in the next generation of marine restoration. One that seeks to not just fill reefs with dying genetic material, but in fact to increase the genetic variability of our restoration feedstocks. Ensuring the future of reefs by focusing on adaptability, just like nature has done since the very beginning. Conservation Diver is focused on coral restoration through larvae culturing. This involves being at the right place at the right time to catch some of those coral gametes during spawning events. From there, we fertilize them based on our selective breeding matrices and rear the larvae for several weeks on land. We then transplant them back to the reef, increasing not just the abundance of corals, but their genetic diversity. We invite you to join us and our partners on what is now our 11th year of coral spawning and larvae culturing projects. So consider joining one of our programs to experience one of the most miraculous events in all of nature and be there to help these corals continue these events well into the future.